what is going on guys so this is a bit of a continuation of my last video this is a bit of a continuation of my last video that i made about uh what it means to for our faith to grow and how the trials that come in our life aren't necessarily meant specifically for um the advancement of our faith which is something that we've been taught a lot in the church. Now, my last video was on Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and how their faith was already solidified before the trial that they had. And the only result of the trial and their faith through it was God's glory. But that was an Old Testament example. So I wanted to give you a New Testament example from the book of Philippians. Uh, it's a letter that Paul wrote to the church in Philippi. And so he happened to be going through some trials and stuff during this time. He was being imprisoned and all these different things. But he writes this in chapter one and starting in verse 12, he says, Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually advanced the gospel so that it has become known throughout the whole imperial guard and to everyone else that my imprisonment is because I am in Christ. And so that was the first result of the trials that he was going through. Um, the gospel was being advanced, not just, you know, in regular people, but in the Imperial Guard. And so there was a lot of, you know, people hearing the gospel and God getting glory based on what he was going through. That's one. And so but then there's another thing that, that happens, too, that I think is really cool. So right after that, he says most of the brothers have gained confidence in the Lord from my imprisonment and dare even more to speak the word fearlessly. And so there's two things that result from his trials in the book of Philippians. He says, one, that God gets the glory. And because they know that he's in Christ, God is the one that's getting the glory. Jesus is the one that's getting the glory from his faith, right? And then two, if anything else, the brothers who are also walking the same walk are being encouraged to walk it fearlessly because of the trials that he's going through. He never mentions anything about himself and the advancement or the um, enlarging of his own faith because of the trials that he's going through. And again, my disclaimer is that I'm not saying that your faith cannot grow because you're seeing God act amidst these trials and you're having faith in him. And at the end of the trial, that your faith is not somehow grown. But I'm saying that the specific reason that the reason for the trial and whatever you're going through is not specifically for your faith to somehow be enlarged or you from to go from one measure of I had little faith here and I have larger faith now because I went through this thing. The main point is God's glory a byproduct is that your faith is heightened after that and so I don't want us I just don't want us to think that the trials that we're getting in our lives are specifically meant for our faith to grow because some of these trials can be really heinous and, and feel really insidious and if you start to think that you're getting that trial because the purpose is your faith to grow. You're going to, you're basically putting those trials on God and saying, God's sending this thing so that my faith can grow. Right. Like we think of, um, Job, right. And I guess that's a situation where God allowed Job to go through, um, some things, but again, I don't even think in the, in the book of Job that like his faith somehow grew. Like at the end of the book of Job, Again, God got the glory because Job was then able to say before I had heard about you. Now I know you or I've seen you or like he was able to have a um, different appreciation for God himself, not just that he somehow trusted God more. He tr already trusted God enough to even talk to him during the trial and not listen to his friends. So he already had a, a really good level of faith. He just was able to know God on a deeper level. And so again, God gets the glory at the end of the day. The point of the trial is for God to get the glory. 
And the people that watched him go through the trial are also, and seeing how he's going directly to God, are also seeing how God is reacting with him and, and talking with him. So, like, it's all for God's glory. And that's the that's the realization that I'm coming to. And I know that God talks to us individually. And, you know, there's different things that, that we go through individually. But at the end of the day, this is all for the glory of God. And so... Um, I hope that can encourage some of you today. Uh, You don't have to bear the burden of your own faith, right? You don't have to bear that burden. God is already producing faith in you. Uh, Just continue to have faith amidst every trial and you are going to get through it and God is going to get the glory. So thank you guys for listening. If you didn't see my other video, that is, uh, it is a longer one, but Um, That was talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and that's where this whole kind of conversation started. But until next time, peace.